And joining us now for more, Dr. Dave Montgomery. He's a board-certified cardiologist and a managing partner at Prevent Clinic. So good morning, doctor. Thanks so much for joining us today. So let's start with that shocking part of this, how something like this could happen to a seemingly healthy, young, physically active person like Bronnie James. We heard in this piece he's part of the demogra demographic that is most affected by cardiac arrest. So why is this? And should parents be thinking about this when they send their kids to play sports? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning to you, Stephen. Um, so, you know, there are two main reasons or two common reasons for a young, healthy athlete to have this. One is a structural problem with the heart, either congenital or something that one's acquired where the actual tissue causes a heart rhythm abnormality to stop the heart. Okay, arrest means to stop the heart. The other one is in a structurally normal heart where the electricity is abnormal. Here's a really important point. I know there was that study by the American Heart Association this is not necessarily an outlier in African-Americans. That's going to be a misconception. The, the, the two commonest kinds of cardiac arrest in young athletes are not more predominant in African-Americans. We've just seen it, right? So we just mm -hmm. saw it with DeMar Hamlin. We're seeing it with Bronnie James. So that might be there. But, the, for example, long QT syndrome or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy are not more common in African-Americans. Really important for us to understand that. Absolutely important. Also important to note, sudden cardiac arrest, not the same as a heart attack. A lot of times those two things are mixed up. So what are the differences there? Yeah, so a, a cardiac arrest, arrest just means that the heart stops beating. And there are a number of reasons, as we hit on a few of them, for a cardiac arrest. A heart attack is very different. Heart attack suggests that there is a blood vessel uh, that is blocked for any number of reasons. The main reason is a plaque that forms and, and disrupts the blood flow to that part of the heart. Depending on where that is, it can have a large effect or a small effect. A heart attack can, if the heart attack is large enough, cause the heart to stop. If it's smaller, and we see this in much older people, for example, the risk factors for heart attack, much, much older. Um, if, it, if the heart stops, obviously, due to the lack of blood flow, you can have a similar kind of a, 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 situation, a situation where you arrest the heart. So if someone happened to be present when someone appears to be going in to cardiac arrest, losing consciousness, that type of thing, what should we do? Yeah, so really important message here, Stephen. We all should know hands only CPR. It saves lives. Go to the American Heart Association. There are videos that show you we don't have to do mouth to mouth anymore, Stephen, as you know. And I think that uh, Kaylee made a really good point in her lead. That is that all parents that have their kids in 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 performance, high performance sports should demand a pre participation screen. Now, I'm going to add something to that. That includes a cardiovascular evaluation. It's important for us to understand in the American guidelines, it doesn't recommend that all children who participate in sports have that heart evaluation. I am sort of an outlier in that regard. I think we should. The Italians have led the way in this, and they say no matter what the cost effectiveness is, we are going to screen our kids because when you lose one child to cardiac arrest, it is more important than the cost savings that might occur from screening a large population. And the peace of mind that that screening could bring parents, uh, no doubt they would enjoy that. Dr. Dave Montgomery, important insights. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.